So if you've just upgraded to the iPhone 17 Pro or Pro Max or iPhone Air, the good news is you can safely transfer all data from your old Samsung, Galaxy or any Android. Everything from photos, videos, messages, contacts and files to all compatible apps. So let's see how to do that. So if you've already set up your iPhone, before you transfer everything, you just need to reset it. Now if you already have some important data stored in there, you can just go ahead and back them up into iCloud. Now after that, from settings, go to general, scroll down and tap on transfer or reset iPhone to erase all contents and settings. These are all the data that it will lose unless it's backed up into iCloud. Just hit continue. If you want, just choose keep eSIM and erase data. Now when prompted, put down your screen time or screen lock passcode. Now the reset will start. This will take a while, so meanwhile, what you can do is just let's prepare the Android for transfer. First, just go ahead and make sure it's connected to Wi-Fi. And next, you're gonna make sure to install an app from Play Store called Move to iOS. And in the meantime, your iPhone will reset and restart into setup mode with Hello in different language. So swipe up and start setting up your iPhone. Now, we're not going to go into details, just go ahead follow the prompts on our iPhone screen. And two important things. When you are in quickly set up iPhone page, make sure to choose set up without another device option. And also when prompted, make sure to connect it to the same Wi-Fi network that your Android is connected to. You might be prompted to reactivate your cellular if you have eSIMs installed to your iPhone. Now, while setting up, we recommend you to just skip the software update for now, face ID and screen lock prompts, and just stick to the transfer process with us. It'll be easier for you to follow through. And then just follow the prompts till you end up in the transfer your apps and data section. From this list, select from Android, and then let's open the move to iOS app on our Android. Agree to all the terms and conditions, allow all the necessary permission that comes on your screen. Now, when you're in this connect via cable section, it's totally your call. You can either connect it via a Type-C to C cable, if your old Android has a Type-C port, or you can go with Wi-Fi, depending on the amount of data and your Wi-Fi speed. We're gonna go with the Wi-Fi option. If you're using cable, not Wi-Fi, don't worry, both the process is exactly the same, only the Wi-Fi users will get an additional prompt. Just tap on the iPhone's name when it pops up in here and then tap continue on your iPhone and your Android both. Your iPhone will generate a random code. Put down the exact code on your Android and then just select which type of data you need to transfer. Messages, contacts, display or accessibility settings, photos, videos, apps, etc. And then you're going to press allow or allow all for each of them one after another. Now, if you want, you can add separate files or folder from my files or your Android's file section that's saved in there. And then just hit continue. The transfer will start and you can then see the ETI on your iPhone screen. And this might take a while depending how much data you are transferring or the Wi-Fi connection stability. Now when it's done, it will be prompted on both your devices that is completed. Just go ahead, press done on your Android and hit continue on your iPhone and just follow through the prompts and complete the setup process on your iPhone. Now, when the setup is done, you're on your iPhone's home screen, you will get this pop-up, just hit add app from Android. And all the compatible apps will be automatically be downloaded to your iPhone from App Store. And then if you check, you'll find all your selected Android data has been moved to your iPhone. Hope this process helped you to transfer your Android data to your iPhone 17 or Air. Thanks for watching.